Hi there people, Marfa here uh, with another video. Now, a little while ago I did a couple of videos on Oil's Well, and people have been pointing out to me that there's actually an arcade game that is actually very similar to this, and that's Anteater. <laughs> So it's uh, the game called Ant Eater. Push the button to retract the tongue. Eat the queens. Destroy all the ants. When the sun goes down, the spider comes out. Sneak behind the worm. Okay, so let's put in some coins. Ah. And if you touch the worm, then you die. So <laughs> that worm is really at, at, in an obnoxious place, actually. So this actually is very similar to, to uh, Oil's Well. Oh. But it's tough. Oh yeah, so basically uh, the worm can uh, can touch your tongue, but it can't touch your tongue. Let me see if I can start it up again. Okay, so the thing is to basically zigzag around. has a bit of a different strategy. And never mind the worm. Oh yeah, of course. <sighs> this is a lot more tough than uh, than oil's well. And of course, moving close to the edge is something you don't want to do. And that little wiggling tongue is actually quite distracting. Whoop! It's night. A spider comes out. I'm not sure what I was supposed to do with the spider. <laughs> Probably not touch it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... It's... it's uh, Probably just... Ignore the spider, yeah. So that's just another one of the. Oh, bloody hell! It's actually cr crawling down your tongue. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's let's try it again. This really is a tough game. It's it's similar, to, but uh, but yeah. Okay, pull the stick down. Press F one. Just hope that no ants are actually. Whoops, that's really closing in fast. But I think it's always good to regroup and go to uh, aim for the middle of the, ce the center of the screen. Oh. But I guess reaching one of those multicolored ants in the bottom is actually a bit of a goal to reach. So let's see if I can... Yeah, it gets rid of the... Uh... Oh, I have to retract. Oops. the other one. Oops, it's still night, so... Oh, bloody hell. It's just very tough. It's very tough. But 
especially when it has turned night it's just I don't think I'll be able to no. yeah this this really is 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 one to take to your quarters so yeah uh, and eater well Let's check out the C64 port of Anteater. It does exist in the name of, in the guise of Ardi Ardvar. Ardi the Ardvark. Yeah, so this is actually more like oil's well. It's less difficult than the uh Oh, that's the worm that you can't touch. Another worm yet you can't touch. At least <laughs> it's possible to get a level right. Oh. Oh, bloody hell. Whoa. I got lucky there. It's also possible to guide your your tongue. You can actually steer it back with the joystick too. So that's actually quite a neat feature that isn't the case in uh, Yep, level two. Art of the Art Park, I quite like it. Okay, one can honestly say that the Commodore 64 port is a bit easier. Whoa! It's a bit easier than the uh, arcade game. Oh, 
Oh, is it possible to to get at them from from above or something? I'm not sure. Oh man, it's it's very elaborate. Quite a few ant hills I managed to conquer. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Well, it's a nice game, and it's uh, it's actually quite worth playing. 